Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. Here on my channel, I show and I sell jewelry. Everything from vintage costume up to modern costume. A little bit of antique, sometimes gold, sterling silver, stone, precious gemstones, and semi-precious gemstones. So a little bit of everything here. This is my pre-recorded sales video. I'm going to offer items ranging, I'm going to have 10 to $20. It'll be 10, 15, and $20. I'm going to start to $20 items. And if you see anything you want, you email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. It's a first come first serve basis. So the first person that contacts me through email will secure the piece of jewelry. I will keep an updated sold list pinned up at the top of the comments and I actually categorize, I separate it by pricing. So $20 items will be listed first underneath the 20, uh, 15 and then 10. So like I said, anybody's welcome to purchase from me. I ship all over the world. Um, and if you've never purchased from me, no problem, just contact me. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel and give me a little bit of love with a thumbs up and some comments. I'd appreciate it very much. And if you watch my channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to build my channel and my business and I'd really appreciate your help in doing that. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with $20 items. All right, so I'm gonna start the $20 off with these 1980s couture looking earrings. Um, that is a metal matte finish and then you have the resin and they are gold tone with maybe a gold plating over there. I think they're very nice. They are a little over an inch and a half, almost an inch and three quarters. That's our first item for 20. I have a pair of very beautiful Givenchy, and these are signed Givenchy in the back, right there. These are a gunmetal finish and beautiful purple crystals. Givenchy pierced earrings for 20. I have a pair of sterling silver and multi-amber dangles for 20 as well. These are really pretty, I think. That's sterling silver up top, and then you have this beautiful, like, Spanish-looking dangle on these, um, and multi, multiple amber, greenish, um, green honey, the typical amber color you see in the middle. Lots of movement there. There's a piece of amber in the middle, too. I feel like my lighting's off a little bit. It's very early in the morning here. I'm trying to get some of this done. So those are 20. They're very beautiful. They're sterling silver. They're amber. I have um, this really lovely pair of gold tone and clear rhinestone um, earrings here. These are domed a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it on. Um, there we go. Gold tone clips, a little bit domed in the back. All the rhinestones are there. I think they're very nice. Those are about an inch, a little bit over. Those are 20 as well. This is a Miller Fury bracelet, a vintage Miller Fury bracelet with a fold over clasp. Multiple colors of Miller Fury have a blackish a um, white, a green, a red, and then they repeat themselves, but that is Miller Fury. I've never seen one like this. This reminds me of a scarab bracelet, but it has Miller Fury in it. So that's 20 as well. Let me measure it so you can make sure it'll fit you. It's a drop in price of what I offered. It's seven inches exactly, and it's gonna fit true to that because these are flat in the back. see um so return signed with the t toggle and we have these like you see this and it'll lay flat hold on i have it hanging up for it does lay flat i've had it for a while there we go very nice that is a talbot's necklace and let me measure it i'm gonna open a toggle measure it give an accurate measurement it'll measure true as well it goes down to 18 inches 
And it's really well made, as you can see in the back. It needs to be some white done. It has a toggle. It's a silver tone. Could have a silver plating over it. Their jewelry is can be pricey if you know Talbot jewelry. Um, but there we have that silver tone Talbot necklace for 20 as well. This is very beautiful opalite rhinestones and blue rhinestones. This has a fold over clasp. I don't think I've even offered this yet, but here it is at 20. It's nice. It's a vintage necklace. Um, you see you have the opalite rhinestones in the middle and then the blue. Everything's fully pronged. This is a vintage necklace. I think it's very pretty. This is measuring 15 and a half inches. It's a short necklace. It's vintage. I think it's really beautiful. That's 20. I have a Napier that feels like butter. Beautiful 1980s, 1990s color necklace. That's a magnificent Napier. $20 is a steal on this. And the gold looks good on it. If there's nothing faded. And they do use gold at the gold tone. Their jewelry. Nice big fold over clasp. Signed Napier on the back. I'll measure this. This is 16 and a half inches, right around 16 inches, a collar necklace. Beautiful. That's 20 as well. It's very nice. It's probably 1980s actually, could be 90s. I have a Kenneth J. Lane 1990 signed KJL to copyright before. Beautiful faux pearls, knotted, strung and knotted in between. It measures 17 to 19 inches. You have a beautiful little foot pearl hanging off the end. Double strand. KJL, Kenneth J. Lane, 1990s. The pearls look great. And they look real. And they're heavy. They're not real, though. These are faux. They're very beautiful faux pearls, Kenneth J. Lane. All right. That's it for the 20. All right. I'm going to start the 15s off with these 1970s, possibly 1980s. Um, gold tone and a white enamel metal. I don't see a maker's mark on it, but they're really well made and very nice. They are one and one half inches on these. They have some movement. These are a great match if you have a crown trafari or a Monet from the 19th from that time period and don't have a matching earring. Not marked, but very nice actually. See the cutout and movement, gold tone. And white enamel looks great. Those start to 15. <clears throat> I have these walking panther earrings, these are 1980s, and the gold tone looks great on her. Nothing is faded to gold plating, actually. You have silver matte finish and then shiny gold plating on the two walking panthers. It's a clip. Nice. The metal looks good on the inside, too. Nothing's faded. These are about an inch of a clip here. Let me show you them from the side. Sometimes it's hard to get put on when you're looking through a camera. Walking Panthers, 1980s. Those are 15 as well, which is a great price. I have these very beautiful, um, I don't know who the maker is. They are gold tone and you have these lovely clear rhinestones on these circle earrings. <clears throat> very nice. They have these ones, you have a bunch set around the middle. And then in the center, you have a larger, beautiful gold tone. Clip earrings about three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> you can hear the baby back there. Uh, Maury's making something to eat. Grandma will be out in a minute. Okay, a couple minutes. This is actually, these are very nice. These are flowers and very nice. Um, these are mid-century earrings. You can see and these are the back. Everything is riveted together, and you have an opening in the back for the middle stone to help it pop, which it does. This is AB. These are like mid, late 50s, 60s, somewhere around there. Very nice pair of earrings, and these are an inch, I believe. Yeah, right at an inch. Very nice. Those are 15 as well. That's a steal. <clears throat> I have these. Look. These look very Givenchy. I don't know who the maker is. Look, it's like blobbed over somehow. There is something written there, but I can't read it. Okay, I'll mark 
much on the tray, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I have to put backings on them. I don't know who the maker is. Somehow, I don't know, copyright, and I don't know what that first, I don't know who they are, but a nice lucite foil backed cabochons in purple and red, and then beautiful faux pearls around. And these are really nice earrings for $15. They are an inch and a half. They look very Givenchy, 1980s. Don't know who the maker is, though, like I said. I have these Napier. These are nice. Gold-plated, signed Napier on the inside. Napier Jewelry Company had some beautiful jewelry as well. You have a lock on that. These are um, a... Uh, some kind of plastic there. You have the lock on the top. These are very nice pierced earrings. They can be paired up with any of the designer pieces, you know, um, costume designer pieces that you need some black uh, plastic and gold plating. They do use gold plating on theirs. So you have, that's the back part. Um, well, either one, I think that's probably the front and that's the back. But they're 15, which I think is a good buy. I have this really beautiful sterling silver um, cubic zirconian ring. It's 15 today. It is seven and three quarters, a size seven and three quarter. Beautiful pear shaped in the center. It is size 925 NB on one side. And it is sterling, I've tested. The other side, there's something in the ring. I'm not sure who it is. And it says an eight. I'm not getting exactly an eight though, look. Oh, well, maybe if I move it down more, it's right on me. And that's seven and three quarters. Okay. It's pretty. It's 15 if anybody wants it. I have this beautiful hematite. No, this isn't the right one. This is the different one. <clears throat> this is multiple stones. There's turquoise, aventurine, um, tiger eye. There is um, agate. There is different, the different quartz is on there. Did I say turquoise? Clear quartz, rose quartz, amethyst turquoise a lot of stone going on on this net double strand necklace i don't think the findings are sterling on it um i will measure it for you it the extender is two inches and we have a total length of 18. so you'll wear it at a 16 to an 18 inches on this lots of uh stone chunks look at that nice piece of clear piece of clear quartz even have some citrine on here, I believe. It's a little bit of everything, a little bit of coral right there. <clears throat> so a little bit of everything. 15 for that necklace, if anybody wants it. This is a cloisonne, um, a Chinese export, I believe 1970s. You have a barrel clasp, nice silk, uh, like rope knotted, and this big piece here. I'll give you a link. <clears throat> it's 15 that's a steel this is a nice necklace it is uh 30 inches around the neck and then you have this pendant on it that is at least two inches and like i said i believe this is the 1970s two and a half at the bottom um and you're going down an inch and a half so it's pretty big <clears throat> it's 15 today if anybody's interested in that double-sided i believe it's 1970s chinese export I have the elephant. The elephant. Uh, this is Boom. He's really cute. His trunk's up. If you don't like him on here, you can repurpose them. His trunk's up. He's adorable. Um, carved bone and all these pieces on it. And you take it around and that loops up on his trunk to wear it. Like, look, it's a long necklace. This is very nice, actually. If you're into the bone type things, I'll show you the rest of it. How cute. I mean, that's how he would hang with that on his trunk. Um, I'll give you a measurement. It's fairly long. I won't count the ring in that measurement. We go down below that and go down to the elephant trunk. It's 27 inches. And you have, like I said, the little elephant. I think it's that's really adorable. And all these pieces, I believe these are all carved bone. Yeah, I see the, the lines in it. Okay. There you go. One more thing. This is the Verme Sterling Silver with gold plating. Look at the designs on it. I think it's pretty nice, actually. You have, those are CZs on each end. <clears throat> and I'm calling it a T-ring. So that's what it looks like, right? 
this is a size that is a size eight it's vermeil did i show you the designs on it that's what i was trying to do yeah see i don't see a maker's mark it is vermeil i've tested it so it's definitely vermeil size eight sterling silver with the gold plating some designs some cubic zirconians on each end and that is 15. last but not least are the ten dollar items i have this um this is i thought this was a glass but it's not a uh, lobster claw clasp and these are all faceted um this is plastic of some sort it's a double strand it's very long like double strand long 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 beautiful actually it's 10 bucks let me give you a measurement on the extender you have a, a two inch or and the total length of the shortest change is, um, chain is 34 inches. So you have 34 to 36 inches on the necklace. And it's very beautiful. It looks like glass. It's very light, which is nice for some people. It has an AB coating over plastic. Maybe a loose sight. I'm not sure. Just it, look at it. It looks good, right? That's 10 bucks. I think it looks good. Hematite and multiple stones. A barrel clasp. Hematite. I don't know if it's sterling or not. Don't remember. Agate. Um, aventurine agate clear quartz. Rose quartz. That's what's going on with it. And hematite. And the beads. I'm not sure if they're sterling. Probably, probably sterling plated. 18 inches around the neck. That's 10 bucks if you want it. I said you got the hematite. Let's put some light on it. The hematite. The rose quartz. Um, and everything I just said. And I don't have to repeat it. You can go back if you want to hear it again, right? Nice. That's ten. Ten dollars for a long strand of rose quartz. I'll measure it. I think it's thirty-five inches out of memory. Thirty. <clears throat> yeah, thirty-five inches. Rose quartz chunks. Very long. Lovely rose quartz necklace that can be utilized, um, repurposed, or you know, layered with other stone. I have a smoky quartz as well. A same length, I believe. About the same length, like that is ten dollars as well. There you go. I think it's nice. I have it's a very beautiful metal metallic bow. I don't know what the markings on looks nineteen sixties um, to me. Metal enamel and it's a nice size. Could be up to eighties. I'm not really sure exact eighty on it. Okay, it's three inches though from top to bottom. I mean, going across, we have at least two, I believe. Two and a half. Two and a half across, three up and down. Nice green metallic bow, looking great. Nice color, I think. That is $10 as well. I have a thermoset. This looks very Coro or Lisner. I don't see a marking on it. There's the chain. Kind of looks like a book chain on there. This is a vintage necklace. I think it's 1960s. It has a small J hook on it. And there's the back all closed with a coating of some sort on it, some kind of plating. We have a total length of this of 16. You can wear it 13 to 16 inches. So with a thin necked person, which um, there are a number, you know, people of smaller, all different sizes, you can wear that as a choker from 13 to 16 inches or take it down to your collar. And it's a beautiful pink um moon glow like loose lucite thermoset okay <laughs> i'm probably blending things together there but it's nice i don't know who the maker is but it looks like glisner or cora to me okay i have a simple faux pearl nice strung one silk and knotted in between go good with the uh ones i showed before these are a nice uh white off-white cream like well they're white these are a white color they're glass um does make a difference to me 24 inches in total length and they are glass they have a little weight to them they're faux like i said but they look great they have a pearl like a gold plated it's a little tiny bit faded in the back there but one of those pearl hooks on them beautiful faux pearls for 10. I have um, these earrings I picked up for, these are 10. These are gold tone. I don't know the exact dating on them. Um, 80s, 90s, 2000, I don't know. <laughs> um, purplish, pinkish, and blue. And I like the way you move, like when they move. Okay, they are gold tone clips. 
I like when you move your head, you'll see eight different of colors. Is my lighting good? Maybe too good with that. Okay, they're nice. They look good. The clips are good on them. They're fairly large. Let's see, we've got an inch and a half, a little over an inch and a half total on these, so they will be noticeable on your ears. As you can see, the clips are good. Those are 10 bucks. This nice little choker that is a metallic coating over it. There's the back. I don't see a marking on this as far as I can see. If it's fabric and then that nice little glass, um, glass rhinestones, glass pieces with a shiny metallic like silver over the top. Oh wait, this is, this is simply Vera. It's simply Vera. Fair Wang. It's 10 today. That's a, that's a good buy. Her stuff can be, I don't know how expensive her stuff is. I remember pricing some of it, and it's more. Pisa, a crystal, a nice little tassel, and a ver Simply Vera for Vera Wang. And it's a nice little choker. It's when I, it has a lobster claw clasp, gunmetal finish on it, on the pieces, on the end. It is going to fit 12 to 15 and a quarter inches, so it's great for a choker. Um... And it's meant to be a choker to fit like that. Simply Vera Vera Wang. Okay, I have, I thought this was nice. You have a Celtic, kind of like a Celtic cross look. A wreath with a buckle, kind of. And then you have, this is actually the Irish marble. Oh my God, Con, Conamara. I'm probably pronounced that wrong. But it's a pin, it's pewter, and it's 10 bucks. Yeah, I think it's Connemara. Am I pronouncing it right? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I believe it's C-O-N-N-E-M-E-R-R-A. It's marble. It's Irish marble. They they put it in a lot of the jewelry. Three and a quarter inches. It's definitely the stone. It's darker variation of it. They have different colors. It's a sword. Not really Celtic cross, actually. A sword. And I think it's nice for 10 bucks. That's why I'm offering it. I have a gold stone necklace that is on costume findings, but a very beautiful, look at that, very beautiful, uh, let me see if I can show it to you, reminds me of a starry sky, it's, it's the blue, see it, I'm sure you can see that blue gold stone, um, this is costume findings, <clears throat> on it, it is a 20 inch necklace around the neck, the chain, and you have a, um, it's pendant is a total of one and three quarter inches almost. That's with a bale. I think it's nice. You have the flowers and the leaves and flowers going around it. And if it, I don't know if it's nickel free or not, but it looks good. I didn't test it. I don't see any markings and it has some kind of coating, but I don't believe it's silver. Okay. It's 10. You can replace it with a different chain. And the bill is big enough that you could put it on a little thin pair of, uh, like, I have lapis beads. I put mine on, and I think it looks fabulous. Okay, I have, this is the necklace I was talking about. I think I've offered it before. I believe this is 1940s. We have a spring ring clasp, these nice linked chain pieces. Blue rhinestones, fully pronged. They are all round. I have a pair of earrings that, like, basically match these. I got them from the same place, so I'll show you. That's a short necklace. It's 15 inches and it is blue rhinestones, and they look good. That's $10, and the earrings are $10 as well, and they match it pretty well. They also match the opalite necklace that I show to a degree. They don't have opalite in them, though. These are vintage screwbacks. There's the back. The screwbacks are in great shape. There is no marking. These are $10, separate $10 for the blue glass um, clip earrings that I think match the necklace. To a degree. And the necklace is 10 bucks as well. Vintage. They're both vintage. <clears throat> I have this little shell pin. Like you have a little safety like thing on it. Roll over and look how cute. It's raised a little. And I don't know what kind of shell that is. It's an oyster shell. Am I making that out? I don't know. A little bit of filigree work. Gold plating. Tiny little pin about an inch and a half. I think it's cute though. It's 10 bucks. I grabbed it at the estate guy actually. Um... One little one and a half, like down at the almost down at the biggest part. 
that's ten. What else do I have? I have this. I've had this for a little bit, but here it is today. This is a strand, and we have glass that is AB glass and glass faux pearls. This is a vintage necklace. You have glass faux pearls all throughout, and then you have the AB glass on there as well. This is a strand. It's very long. I'll measure it. It's 40. Let me undo it. I had it doubled. I want to make sure I'm correct on that. Yeah, it's long. It's 44 inches. So it's a very beautiful 44 inch faux pearl. Do you have a little wearing on some of the metal? Or I can't tell if it's on the metal or actually. Yeah, it is. It, it needs cleaned or it may have a little wearing. It's not very noticeable, but I have to point it out. Okay. It's a 44 inch beautiful vintage necklace. It's got good weight to it. These pearls, faux pearls are amazing. That's 10 bucks because of a little bit of wearing on it. Okay. <clears throat> this glass on these, I didn't test on to see if it's some kind of crystal or something. I don't believe it's sterling though. Um, it says Italy on the bottom. Let me double check that because my eyes... Yeah, Italy. This is like a little pocket rosary. Glass. Silver tone. Tiny. Those are uh, $10. These um, Lucite foil back 1980 look. I don't know who they are. I've seen Ian Klein jewelry similar, but there is no marking on these, okay? They're gold tone. They look great. I think they're 80s, 90s. I'm not sure exactly, though, on these ones. They're nice, though. They're about an inch and a half. And, again, $10, because everything I'm showing in this last batch is. But let me see what they are. They are little, like a, an inch and an eighth. I think they're nice. You have red, you have green, you have blue. Look good. The gold tone on them is fat. Last thing, uh, Monet. Silver tone. Sign Monet in the back. They have the nice tension clip on it. So you can get the amount of tension you want. These are have some movement. These are textured and shiny. And these are 1970 earrings of Monet. And they measure, these are nice sized. These are an inch and a half. I think they're beautiful. And that's the end of my video. Let me know what you liked, what your favorite piece was. And if you want anything, email me at vintagejewelrygalartyahoo.com. Thank you so much for your time. Have a blessed day.